Hi, I'm Gary with Gary's Wine and Marketplace, here with an old friend, not that you're old, but a, a dear friend. Well, thank you, Gary. <laughs> Tim Mandavi, who has been making a wine called Continuum. And before I let him talk, and, you know, it's my store, so it's my turn to talk, we just got together, we had dinner at a brand new winery in Pritchard Hill called Brand. And A, the dinner was spectacular. The, the source of fruit in Pritchard Hill never ceases to amaze me about the quality. So why don't you tell us while I start drinking a little bit about... So I'll work and you drink. Exactly. Okay, well, you, you're, you know what you're the <laughs> boss, you gotta figure it out. So I've been making wine in Napa Valley for a very long time. My father before me and my grandfather before him. And, uh, um, you know, we, uh, we've also made wine in other parts of the world. Yeah. So I've kicked a lot of dirt in my day. But I have to say, we are on Pritchard Hill for a reason. It is incredible. Um, it's red, rocky, volcanic soil. Uh, our property is 1,300 to 1,600 feet of elevation. Um, we've got, we're above the fog. I think all of us on Pritchard Hill are above the fog. Uh, and this red, rocky, volcanic soil is amazing. And I'll say the same thing that that uh, Ed Fitz and Deb uh, say about Brand. I'll say the same thing that Ann Colgan says about Colgan, the same thing that uh, uh, the people at Ovid say uh, um, that, you know, I've got the best place. Yeah. They say the same thing about their land. I say the same thing because it's true. They're all fabulous sites, up above the fog, uh, beautiful exposures. Um, and wonderful soil, and ultimately wine is about that soil. And, and it's interesting because we just came back from Napa. We, I, like I said, we had dinner, we were there for Napa premiere, and before I got there, I kept hearing, oh, 2011 vintage, you know, it's horrible vintage. My son was actually there helping make wine for 2011. It came in late, it, wines didn't ripen, it was cold, it was rainy. It was rainy. <laughs> but on the top of Pritchard Hill... It is fabulous. Being above the fog is incredible. By, but it's not just... Um, you can imagine that 1,300 to 1,600 feet of elevation, uh, we are above the fog, um, but we have a more moderate climate than we do down in Tokelon, we did down in Tokelon. In Tokelon or Oakville, it's 150 feet above sea level. Cold air sinks. There's more cold days there. There is more... Uh, hard frost there than there is. That's true during the growing season. It's always colder, and also it's always hotter. So uh, there are more extremes on the valley floor. At elevation, the lows are higher, and the highs are lower. There's less of an opportunity for blistering of the fruit, uh, and as a result, there's a retention of the nuance and delicacy of fragrance. But this is mountain fruit, very low yield. So great density, great concentration, but also with a, a delicacy of, of fragrance and, uh, and tannin that is very, very important. So you have to worry about the fog, the weather, the wind, the rain. I have to worry about opening the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so well, glad I did. And also, <laughs> also figuring out what to back. And well, that is and matching a great wine with, a great, with, with your customers and a great meal. And ultimately, that's what makes the world go around. Well, as we said before the camera started rolling, um, the 2000, the, we're drinking the 2010 Continuum. When, when I was there last year, and we barrel tasted 2010 Continuum, this year when we were there and we tasted the bottled version of 2010 Continuum, it was my favorite barrel sample last year and is my favorite bottled wine. That's a this powerful This wine statement. is an unbelievable glass of wine. Thank you so much for sharing it. Gary, thank you, and I appreciate you. know. You've got a great palate. You know the definition of somebody who has a great palate? No, I don't, I'm afraid. Yeah, they agree with you. <laughs> cheers. I'm Gary cheers. Gary's Wine Marketplace saying cheers. Cheers. This is really, really good.